I mentioned this earlier, but you know, when a plant, if you think about a plant growing up when it's young, it needs the roots down in order to grow to a point to be able to withstand the harsher conditions. And knowing that trials and tribulations and we're in a battle and there's, you know, there's this war going on, knowing that that's the case, you need to make sure that you are strong, that you are solid, that you are established so that nothing is going to knock you out of the fight and ultimately end up making your, your, your existence here meaningless or worthless. Okay, if you're saved, obviously nothing can change that backsliding, getting out of church. Nothing's going to change your eternal destination. Okay, but there's a lot of things that you can miss out and that you can lose, like all the rewards that God has for you. And how about just helping other people out? I mean, even if you didn't have rewards, even if God didn't reward you for doing the work that he has for you, what about just loving other people enough to stay with it, to stay in the fight, to do what's right? Being established is extremely important in the Christian life. I cannot stress it enough. Make sure you get established. Turn, if you would, to uh, Colossians chapter 2. Colossians chapter 2. I'm going to read for you from 2 Kings chapter 19. As you're turning Colossians 2, 2 Kings 19, 29 says, And this shall be a sign unto thee. You shall eat this year such things as grow of themselves, and in the second year that which springeth of the same, and in the third year sow ye and reap and plant vineyards and eat the fruits thereof. And the remnant that is escaped of the house of Judah shall yet again take root downward and bear fruit upward. Before you can bear any fruit, before you can even think about bearing fruit, you need to be able to take that root and get that root planted downward to be able to bring forth the fruit that God wants you to bring forth for him. Colossians chapter 2, look at verse number 4. The Bible reads, And this I say, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. For though I be absent in the flesh, Yet am I with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ. As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. Look at verse 7. Rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. So he's telling them to be, you know, that you're rooted. You need to walk in Christ, rooted and built up in him, established in the faith. As you have been taught. It's really hard and I would say practically impossible for someone to get rooted, established, just completely grounded in their faith without being taught. And this is, you know, I'm going to touch a lot on this. This is really key. The importance of being in church, of, of sitting under preaching, not just sitting at home, tuning in online, you know, or even just reading your Bible on your own. Yes, that ought to be your primary source. Reading a scripture. Extremely important. You need to be learning it for yourself. But you know what? There is definitely an extremely important place for church. For being in church. For hearing the word of God taught and expounded from someone who's not a novice. From someone who has experience. From someone who has knowledge to teach the word of God. To help you to get rooted and to grow in the faith. Just as the Apostle Paul was teaching here in the book of Colossians, saying, you know, just as you've been taught, you need to be established in your faith. And then he gives a warning in verse 8, Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. There's a lot of people out there going to try to trick you and try to deceive you and use philosophy and philosophical terms and, and, and things that are not Scripture, that are not the Bible, to try to dissuade you from doing what's right and these this vain deceit the tradition of men after the remains of the world and not after christ don't get caught up in the nonsense don't get caught up in all the political nonsense out there thinking oh man well, no, we need to go do this and go do that and and all the you know well and i don't care what it is you know whatever whatever the political agenda is don't get so caught up in that that you're not established in your faith that you're not rooted up rooted down in christ and, and doing what he would have for you to do. The politics really ultimately end up being meaningless uh, compared to what God would have you to do in the, in the, from the word of God. 